when working with dimensions, you need to be sure to select the dimension first before editing it. After you've actually selected this dimension, you see there's these two handles on the dimension line. If I click this one here, nothing happens. I just change where this line starts and ends. If you click on the second dimension handle right here, you can hover it to different areas on the model and it will change where that dimension line measures. When I'm here, it automatically snaps to the center point of the wall. So at the same time I'm holding my mouse down, I need to click tab in order to click other portions of the wall. So if I wanted to select this outer portion of the wall, I click the tab button and then let go of my dimension, it will go to that outer portion of the wall. If I wanted to do that on this other dimension here, I want to highlight this one now. Again, I can't use this furthest handle, but I can use the middle handle. It again only wants to measure to the center of the wall, so I need to hit the tab key, which guides me through the different areas to, to dimension. Obviously, I wouldn't want my dimensions like this, but maybe you need that for a reason. So let's put them back. Remember, I first grabbed the center of that dimension handle. Now it goes to the center wall. Let's grab the other dimension line. Again, don't grab the furthest handle, but the center handle, and bring it up to the wall center line. 